Welcome back to Kirby's Dream Collection. And, uh, I gotta admit, I'm excited today. Yeah, you've mentioned to me before that this is your favorite Kirby. Or this, one of them. Th this is not just my favorite Kirby. This is one of my favorite games of all time. Ooh. It's, it's that good. Like, whenever I think of why I like Kirby, I think of this game. And I think I may be a minority in that, unfortunately. This is Kirby's Dream Land 3. The story is uh, about out in space, there's a gigantic black comet. I think it's Dark Matter still pissed off from Kirby's Dream Land 2 coming to get revenge on Popstar and Kirby and everyone. And on that same day, Kirby's fishing with Gooey. And they get a fish. The comet's about to get completely smashed by, uh, yeah. That's, uh, it's not a good thing going on here. Oh no! Hello, Kirby. I'm back. God, imagine how fucking scary that must be. Just a fucking black sphere appears in the sky and then starts growing fucking tentacles. It's got a big menacing red eye. Oh you know? my god. I'd be a teeny bit uh, intimidated. So it's up to Nago, Rick, Choo Choo, Koo, Pitch, Kine, and Gooey. And Kirby to save everyone. Welcome to Kirby's Dream Land 3. Oh, this style's so cute. I love the style of this game. It's one of my favorites. Like, I, I almost can't believe it's the Super Nintendo because uh, it has like the, a sort of pastel slash crayon drawing yeah, style that, going on. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It's kind of like uh, Yoshi's Island with the crayon aesthetic. Yeah, and there's but and even more so. And mm. there's like a there's like a system goes on that like predicts what the next color would be in adjacent pixels or whatever. So <gasps> it gives it this kind of artifacting kind of look, and it, it, it literally looks like crayon drawings come to life. That's impressive for 1997 and the Super Nintendo. So here's how it works. This is level one in Grassland. Mm -hmm. We've got uh, six levels, six slots up there, six heart stars to get, which means that each of these stages has a cryptic sort of thing we gotta figure out. It's something that we gotta do. Oh my gosh, this game looks great! I know, it's beautiful, I love it. And yet, oh. it, and yet people didn't really care for it, because as you can see, it, it plays a little bit more like uh, Kirby's Dream Land 2, in that it's much more advanced. It's, it's super Kirby's Dream Land 2. You can press A, you can bring Gooey out, so the co-op feature is still there. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, just everything is just made better from Kirby's Dream Land 2, but it feels a step back when you compare it to Superstar. So we got Rick and a new friend, Nago, here. It's a thing about Kirby's Dream Land 3. There are three new friends to choose here, and uh, instead of having to de defeat a mini-boss and get them from bags, they're ready here and waiting and ready to go at any time. So uh, we got Rick here. We've seen him before, but we're going to go with Nago because he's a new guy. We're going to show him off, and he's better. Okay, so Gooey, is he is he your co-op partner, and then you have a an animal friend? Is that what I'm seeing? Yes, but you can only have one animal friend. Okay, so no matter what, Gooey's going to be there as player two, essentially. Yeah, right now he's computer player, but he can be player two. If, okay. I think, if uh, player two just presses a button or whatever, it's not that hard. Tails Syndrome, think about it like that. Okay, because I was thinking from the looks of it, I was like, wow, you got three players going on at the same time? This really is advanced for Super Nintendo. We're pushing the SNES as hard <laughs> as it can go! And it had to be Kirby. Well, yeah. Kirby, the innovator. Get Kirby three players on this two-player console. Kirby gives Nintendo games the best swan songs. So, uh, I'm oh, a wow. player two right now, just kind of... No, wait, no, I'm not. Wait, so, you, you say that, and a Kirby game's coming to Switch. It's not dying already, is it? Oh, uh, shit. I, I hope not. Nah, don't say that! <laughs> well, what, what, what makes you think that uh, the Kirby Switch game is already being made for Wii U, and the Wii U died before they could make it? Hmm... Uh, I don't even remember. Was there a Kirby game for Wii U? Yeah, Kirby and the Rainbow Curse. Oh yeah, that's right. Sequel to Canvas Curse. I haven't played that one yet because my Wii U tablet is still broken. We need to get you a new tablet, man. Even though they don't sell them separately. Eh, maybe just get it fixed or something. I don't know. What's going on? This is uh, Nago's spark ability because, of course, every friend still has their own unique ability, and there's far more Ooh. abilities and far more friends. Than there's a lot. Of, there's a lot of fucking powers in this game. And you hear that chime? That chime means it has something to do with the heart star. So we're gonna eat Gooey here because I don't want him fucking things up for me. Because what we gotta do is gotta make sure that we do not. I repeat, do not. I double repeat, do not. Step on these tulips. Oh. <gasps> oh. So you gotta do like. Not mini-games, but little mini-challenges in every level? 
side quests. Oh, that's so cool! And if you do all of them in all the stages, you get the true ending. Okay, cool. Any so, more tulips? No, I don't think so. There's there's one down oh. there. He's he's hiding. There we go. Because there's the end right there. And he's very pleased with us. He'd be sad if we didn't, and he wouldn't give us this heart star. So we go ahead and just have that heart star. Oh and my gosh, work... I gotta play this. Our work here is done. What? And I'm, I'm never good at these. I always get these evil nickels. <laughs> or dimes or quarters or whatever. <laughs> you were just given a curse. Kirby doesn't mess around. This one's kind of cryptic. I was gonna have to get my notes out here again because they all have special names that the game won't fucking tell you what their names are, but the Mongo will, so I wrote them down. What? Yeah. Huh. Yeah, I, gu I guess there's a Kirby's Dream Land 3 manga. <laughs> <Don't>, uh, okay. <laughs> okay. okay. Alright. Sure. Well, they'll make a fucking manga out of everything, won't they? <laughs> well, if the Zelda series is anything to go by, that one's interesting. I took a big nasty shit this morning. Why don't you make a manga out of that? Oh, no. We'll call it, uh, how I, uh, how I took a nasty shit in the morning and, uh, my girlfriend became sexually aroused to it or something. No, 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 like no, that. no, 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 uh, because now that you've said it, it probably exists. It probably does. Anyway, so, uh, the thing about what's cryptic here is that we gotta have Choo Choo here. I mean, I figured you want to get pitched first, but, uh, this is Kirby's girlfriend. What?! Yeah. Really? Yeah. Is it because... This is all about love interest. Every character in this game has a love interest, pretty much. Is it because she's... Almost. ...a pink globule? Well, yeah, and look where she's placed, right on top of Kirby's head. You know what he's doing back there. Suffocating? Sure. I mean, Kirby still needs to breathe. So this is, uh, Moochie Moochie. <laughs> he wants okay. to get slapped by Choo Choo. Excuse me? Hey, that's, I, I don't know what the story is, but uh, you, you do an unarmed <laughs> inhale with Choo Choo on that guy. He's like, jeez, and that, that makes his heart swell. Hit me, hit me! T uh, t um, maybe for Kirby's Dream Land 4, which never came out, so. Aww. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Kirby and Choo Choo are interrogating the Joker, and it's just, hit me, hit me! Moochie Moochie was never seen again, I don't think. <laughs> I'm gonna oh. try and show off a whole bunch of powers here, because there's yeah. a lot of them. Yeah! And to hype things up, Kirby 64 has, like, double or even triple the amount of powers. <laughs> Isn't that when you can combine two powers to make a completely different power? Oh god, I wish that they would bring that back. Just so many options. How do they think of so many different ways to, like, shock spike things? Oh, a lot of the powers in that game are fucking incredible. And some of them are fucking useless. <laughs> I, I have combined two sleeps, and what do I get? Armageddon! Sleep is not in Kirby 64. What? Yeah. Oh, missed opportunity, because that would be missed hilarious. I know, I know. And... Damn it! Oh, cursed again. I'm never good at these. So what do you have to do on that? I, I guess I can't figure it out. Well, uh... The, he'll, like, uh, I don't know, swing back and forth a little bit when he's kneeled all the way down. That's when he'll go the furthest. When he's got his arms all the way up, that's when he'll uh. jump the closest. So, yeah. I gotta remember not to press the A button, because the A button calls Gooey. You don't have to oh. do anything special. Just, poop. there he is. You press the A button by accident. I'm gonna try not to press as much as possible. Is it... Just because if you want an extra bit of help, he's there always, or...? Well, there's another reason, but uh, I'll show that off in uh, a later level. Okay. Anyway, I'll go ahead and get Kine here, just because. But hey, th this is how they nerfed his spark ability from Kirby's Dream Land 2. Oh, it... Oh, does the, uh, the light bulb break? Yeah, he doesn't fire out the light bulbs anymore, either. Oh! Who still has his, uh, he still has oh. his old spark ability, so we'll take him and uh, kind of move things along here. That looks so cool. But I don't know if you could do this in Dreamland 2, but uh, you can't move in Dreamland 3 when you spark. Hmm. Okay. 
So, uh, this game is pretty much like Kirby's Dream Land 2 in terms of style and uh, pace and uh, design, but the design is just a billion times better in every conceivable way. So, was this A team back for this, or was this still like B team, but they got their shit together? I'm pretty sure this is A team. Let me check on that. Uh... Oh my gosh, this game looks like so much fun. Well, while I'm checking, every third level has a shitty mini game. He throws a Gordo, you gotta pick which Gordo he throws. You gotta do it three times. If you miss once, you fail, and you gotta do the whole level over again because you're not gonna get the true ending now. Oh, you can't go back to previous levels? Oh, you can go back to previous levels, but, oh. I mean, you gotta, like... You're, you're, you're not gonna get the heart start at the end of the level, so you might as well start over and try again. Oh, true. But we got it right, so good for me. Now check this out. Oh! Gotta be quick! Gotta be gonna quick! Go, gonna go ahead and ditch that. Well, don't be too quick, because if you go too quick, you're gonna fall down and die. Oh, it's scrolling. Yeah. Oh, I thought that was you. Nope. And so if you can do that in Kirby's Dream Land 2, uh, Kirby's Dream Land 3, that you couldn't do. By the way, this is a B team getting their shit together. Oh, seriously? Yes. Awesome! But I think they got uh, Jun Ishikawa back. Hmm, okay. So uh, I think they had more A team guys working on this, but some guys from the B team came to work on this too. Or maybe they were a little bit micromanaged at that point. It's like, okay, guys, Dr uh, Dreamland 2. Yeah, let's just, uh, let's do something better. Well, Superstar came out a year before, so they've probably been working on this while they were doing uh, Superstar. That is true. And this is the final Super Nintendo game that Nintendo of America published, I think. Anyway, that was Pitcher Man. Now we're moving on to somebody else. This is uh, Chao and Goku from the Famigon game. Oh, God. Mukashi Banashi Yuriyuki. Okay, you just made that up, didn't you? No, I did not make that up. It's from some Japan-only thing that, you know, they all love that shit. Okay. I'll, I'll accept it at this point. I mean, there are weirder names. It sounds like a retelling of uh, Journey to the West, as always. Oh, that's weird. That's one weird-looking kaboo. It's uh, a bit too real for me. <laughs> By the way, I love Ku's just, like, stern stone face. A literal stone face. I think his stoicism is really appreciated in this series. <laughs> It's like, we need a good guy who just has fucking angry eyes all the time, you know? We need, need that need that bit of gruffness. Uh, what would that be called? Like, resting owl face or something like so, that? So we're gonna leave him behind. Oh, what? Yeah. What are we getting instead? Are we just gonna be a rock? Oh, that's oh, cool. We, there's a friend room in every level, so it's either gonna be uh, Nago or Choo Choo. We go to Nago. Because he does this. <laughs> That's cool. Or we can go with Choo Choo. Who does this? Well, I'll show you. Oh, that's kind of cool. All right. Now, does it actually feel like she's throwing a rock around? Like, are there physics involved? Oh, there's there, there's some weight going on there. I'll tell you what. Nice. And uh, another thing Choo Choo can do is she can oh, walk on ceilings. That's cool! Ain't that neat. Alright. Um... Oh, shit! Ha <laughs> ha! I fucked up. I was yeah, too you busy. did. I was too busy showing off mechanics and doing Let's Play shit to realize that I missed where the secret exit was supposed to go. That leads to the heart star. You fool! Well, I'm, I'm not gonna sit there and edit footage for an hour and a half just for five seconds of a mistake, so we're gonna run through it again. Okay. Tough shit. <laughs> well, is that to you or the viewer? Oh, it's to everyone. <laughs> Even Tough me. shit, me. Tough shit, you, five minutes ago before you even watched this. <laughs> Uh, just giving the big old Kirby middle finger to everybody watching this. This size. This level isn't too long anyway. We're still at the first stage. They get they get fucking ridiculous later on though. As in like cryptic or just long levels? Cause a long level in a Kirby game just sounds wrong to me. And or 
like, uh, they're long and they're cryptic. Like, I think in, like, the fourth level, you have to go through, like, 12 screens before you get to this stupid-ass, ridiculous, nonsensical goddamn minigame. And if you fail, you gotta do all those 12 screens again. Oh, wow. I don't like the minigames. Minigames make me cry. <laughs> I like them. They hurt me. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. We got a mini-boss here. Oh. Uh, we I'm gonna use uh, stone for a little bit at least. I'm just gonna use Kirby to beat him, actually. Because another thing you can do in 3 that you couldn't do in 2 is that you can store your animal friends. In 2, they just went away if you wanted to get rid of them, but now you can just, you know, get them whenever you want. So many small improvements just made this a better game. It's like, hey, 2 was kind of lackluster and for Game Boy. Can you fix that? Uh, yeah, sure. Oh, I just realized what Kirby was doing! That was cool! Oh, yeah, hot air balloon. That was, Go that was Goku, so, uh, yeah. Oh, so you need to find them? Yeah, I mean, uh, you see how the path kind of forked in the back there? Yeah, yeah. If I would have just exited through the first time, you know, that I, that I did in the first uh, time through here, I would have missed that mini-boss and would have gone completely over Goku. Ah. So, but because I used stone and did the right thing, like a good person, I saved Goku and now I'm gonna make a little go very happy. Like an upstanding citizen. Kirby felt bad for uh, all the damage he caused in Superstar, so he's kind of doing community service. <laughs> <laughs> Ten years, Kirby. Ten years of community service to fix what you have broken. Yeah, it's felt, lo felt that long from game to game because uh, Superstar came out in 96, uh, Dreamland 3 came out in uh, uh, 97, and then we didn't get another Kirby game until 2000. Jeez. And then we didn't get another Kirby game until... Well, I guess you can't the, the Game Boy Advance games, I suppose. But. Eh, they don't count. Point is, I'm glad Nintendo's making Kirby games again. Even if it's just the same one. Oh, okay, I get it. Yeah, I don't get this reference at all. Alright, here we go. Yeah. Yeah. yeah! Still got a one-up, but not what I wanted. Alright. Now? Now we got a special type of uh, stage up there, and I think they're in every single uh, world, yeah. You oh, get, cool! You, you gotta finish the level with a certain character. Hmm. Now, uh... You saw that was a fish that was uh, named mine. Oh, so you need uh, Rocky or whoever. I don't. I can't remember the friends' names. Rick? You mean? Oh, sure. Let's go with Rick. Well, let's go into this friend room here, and oh, luckily we got a kind to use right here. But the thing is, there's two other friends in that other room, so you, uh, you had a one in four chance of randomly getting the correct friend. And now we just gotta keep them. How well can a tropical fish do in the woods? Let's find <laughs> out. <laughs> ah, well, great start. I suppose he'll just flop around like a fish. Yeah, he's, he's holding his own. He, he's got a very strong fin there. <laughs> he's also shooting fire blasts! Oh. That's really cool! Do ocean fish, ocean sunfish not normally do that? Uh, I mean, well, I mean, I'm not a marine biologist by any means. I mean, I've gone to Jamaica once and looked under the water. I mean, none of the... Nature documents I've seen say anything about it either, so, you know, I guess you could be. Have we discovered a brand new species of sunfish? Literal sunfish. Fires sun rays. <laughs> Behold the power of the sun! Well, that wasn't too bad. It hadn't, didn't have to go too far to make that happen. Just All right. imagine... Uh, stay here with your mom or girlfriend or whatever. I uh, hope, hope girlfriend, uh, each. I, I I know you said this entire thing is about love, but can you imagine if Mrs. Kine there, or however you want to say that, uh, <laughs> she she was like, "Oh, Kine, finally, I I love you so much," and then Kirby pops out of his mouth, "Blah, what's that?" Oh, you brought him. Oh, you brought your friend. Yeah. Oh, um, would you like some yeah. dinner, Kirby? Uh, yeah. Okay, okay. I mean, did did you really have to bring him this time? He eats every goddamn thing. All right, Rick or Choo Choo, Rick's better. <laughs> oh, that's cool. A hamster breathing fire. 
Yeah, that's what he did in uh, Kirby's Dream Land 2, but again, it's enhanced and it looks better, and it's just better. I'm just thinking the, the fact that Kirby somehow transferred that power to a hamster, and all of a sudden the hamster's breathing fire. Channels it through his palms. <laughs> I was just thinking, yeah, Kirby's pulling a bunch of levers and switches. It's like, all right, Rick, fire it up. So oh, wow. we're, so, uh, we gotta spend some time in this room. We are helping a guy named Pierre getting these, uh, blocks. And I was showing off that eating that spider will cause it to hurt, to hurt you. Oh. Even though, even though Kirby eats other spiders and they're just fine, but that one was extra icky, so I guess it hurts him. Well, I mean, spiders are the worst, so... I mean, I haven't eaten a spider, so I wouldn't know which ones taste better according to others, so I guess I'll just have to take Kirby's word for it. You know, just go to a few different states where they have, like, arachnid pops. Yeah, so, I, I would love a candy-covered spider. Ah. So this is why Rick is better, because Rick has the ability to just sort of hop on walls you saw you saw there. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't have the same sort of uh, maneuverability would shoot you, because she can't float as well as, you know, Kirby alone can. But then again, Rick can't float at all, so... Oh, may, okay, I get it. Your mileage may vary. I mean, can't all fire-breathing hamsters do this? Yes. Again, you know, uh, none of the documentaries I've seen uh, show anything about fire-breathing hamsters. And here we see the fire-breathing hamster. Oh no, my house is going up in flames. But then again, I don't know what kind of hamsters Gundam Tanaka raises, so... <laughs> oh my god, this is one of the four dark devas of destruction! The, the hidden fifth one that was sealed and forbidden. <laughs> So he was banished to another planet far, far away, in another company, in another ESRB rating! I sent my hamster to Popstar, for he was far more evil than I, Gundam Tanaka! Yeah, I don't have any reference because I listen to the Japanese voices, so I have no, uh, I can't. It, it's actually pretty close. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, it's very close. Oh got Tanaka Gundam! Basically, if you take the deepest voice you can and make him sound like an evil dark lord, it's awesome. Well, that's how I get my sucker to Ogami. <laughs> well, there she just sounds like a demon in either language. And that's you pretty cool as well. You need to play that game in the Japanese language. Oh, I've already heard it. J j just for Sakura. Everything yeah. she says is glorious. This Kujita is great. Anyway, we got all three of the blocks. There's only three, thank God. Now we can move on. I, I kind of blacked out during that. You were collecting blocks? Yeah, but uh, it also, it's also showing that uh, when you have a friend, that's two squares you have there. When, you have, when you're by yourself, that's one. So we'll switch out Nago because I like him better. Better maneuverability. Whoa. He's got this triple jump that's just, like, fucking awesome. Oh, wow. And he's a cat. I mean, who doesn't love cats? Cats are awesome! Oof. Oof. You don't see any dogs in Kirby. <laughs> which is weird. I, I would like to think that uh, one of the directors, maybe the designer, has a pet cat. Because uh, I recently found out today, today that the uh, director of Ghost Trick, that goes the director, uh, the only reason Missiles in the game is because he loves his dog so much. It's like, uh, Missile is a character of the Phoenix Wright series. You can't own my dog! <laughs> so, <laughs> so check this shit out. I just got a one-up, but uh, because uh, I'm Nago. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, Nago, buddy. I'm sorry, my man. I can't take you with oh, me. Oh, man! Oh. All right, all right. That was, that was hard to do, man. Bye, Nago. That's all right. We'll face the boss by ourselves. Oh, this is a boss stage? Well, at the end. We, oh. do si we do six stages, and then there's a seventh boss stage. Oh, okay. That doesn't have any heart stars, but checks to see if you've gotten all six. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. So, can you not fight the boss without six heart stars, or...? No, you can fight the boss, just that you won't get the true ender. Oh. Thanks, Pierre. You goofy-looking fuck. <laughs> Passive aggressive Kirby's mean. Yeah, I didn't want to get his stupid blocks for him. Why didn't he get them himself? Why'd he drop them in there? 
Oh, anyway. He was climbing the tree, and then, oh, look at that, it's Wispy Woods. What at the surprise. end of World 1, yeah. Yeah, what a surprise, it's Wispy Woods. Well, I guess this fight's gonna turn out like it always fucking does. Alright, burning's not helping me out in this case, so I guess I'll, uh, oh, jeez. Huh. You know, maybe I should, uh, yeah, I'll just play the old-fashioned way. Yeah, yeah, what, yeah, whatever, you know. Same old Wispy. So, did I see right in that you used your, like, fire dash to run into his nose? Oh, jeez. Whoa, dude! Yeah, this is, uh, Dark Matter. Wispy Woods has been infected with Dark Matter, so not only is he fucking going insane, his, uh, his heart is dark now. Oh, sweet! This is evil, Wispy. Oh, my dead. gosh! Wispy Woods, how? So with the power of the six heart stars. Oh. So they're called heart stars because they're heart and stars. <coughs> yeah. It relinquishes all the darkness from the king of the grassland, at least. Oh. Okay, so if you... Well, let's say I miss one heart star. Will it just end the level right there and you don't see this? You wouldn't see that scene. You'd be just... you just jump right to here. Hmm. And then, take your star... And it erases that part and that part. That little nub there remains if you don't get all six. So we're trying to eradicate it completely. I see. That's cool. Next time in Kirby's Dream Land 3, level two. Oh, I can't wait. This game's great. Oh, I Can love I have this my game. game back? Uh, I gotta, I gotta finish it, man. All right, fine. We'll finish it and then I'll get it back. All right. See you next time.